Monster Lab. How's it going, everyone? You guys know Mav is back as senior researcher. This is for all the folks out there trying to get deeper into Summoner War. As always, you can count on me to give you the tips on the monsters I discovered during my research. The monster we'll be covering today is going to help you snatch up turns while doling out immunity for your whole team. It's the one, the only, Draco, the Fire Brownie Magician. We've talked about immunity a lot in our previous episodes, so you're probably pretty familiar with it by now. But just as a refresher, immunity is a buff that prevents debuffs from being applied. This means it'll keep you safe from defense break and other nasty debuffs. Before we get started though, I'm going to go over how important it is to give your entire team additional turns. This is primarily for players out there looking to make their debut on the RTA stage. In the world arena, you can only get one violent proc per turn. Draco can help get around this by bringing your turn up the turn order in a different way. That being said, know that his additional turns are limited to two, giving you a total of three. They're extra turns, so just know that they don't count towards the vile procs. Well then, why don't we go ahead and take a look at his skills. Skill number one gives you an extra turn on a 30% chance, which is great for reducing cooldowns and getting a little more damage in. But it's not why we're here. This is where skill number three is going to be showering your entire team with immunity and increasing their attack bars by 30%. They'll also randomly get attack, defense, or speed buff for one turn. In a perfect world, you'd get an additional turn on your first skill, fill up your attack bar with skill 3, and then maybe a Vioproc to keep cycling. Draco actually shares the same skill too as Orion, who I'm sure you guys know and love. It only applies defense break on the enemy team, but it always lands a crushing hit regardless of attribute. Wait, what? Crushing hit? Yep, a crushing hit is a hit that has a chance of happening in cases where you don't crit. When attacking an attribute that is weak against yours, there's a chance they'll take an additional 30% damage from your attack. That means that Draco can dish out crushing hits regardless of attribute. The crushing hit is guaranteed, so getting into a bad attribute matchup with this skill isn't really an issue. Once you awaken him, his leader skill is going to give all ally monsters an extra 25% HP. But we all know this show is about hands-on experience. So the monsters you'll face off against are obviously going to vary, but let's use this team as an example. Samath is decked out with a despair set, so he has a chance to stun your monsters. But that's where the immunity comes into play. It'll protect you from all of that. Because Draco's ruined on Nemesis in this example, our attack bar gets boosted with no risk of being stunned thanks to his third skill. Next up is Hawthor, whose job is to put your monsters to sleep. Ideally, your Draco will move before her. But if he doesn't, you can hopefully get a clutch resist like our test subject here did. Now, we get a little greedy and go for his first skill. And we get an additional turn? Wow! Next up, we'll be covering some monsters that Draco pairs well with. Isn't this a trade secret? Alright, well the dream team is Garo with Bastet. Not only does Garo's leader skill gives fire monsters 30% increased attack speed, but he's out there doing work with big damage. And Bastet is another means of boosting attack bars. You can try subbing in your favorite damage dealer for Garo by the way. Guess it's time to talk about runes. I am a senior researcher after all. Swift is a great option because if your attack speed's high, you'll be able to get immunity up faster. And it'll help hand out turns to the rest of your team since his third skill boosts attack bar. The stat you should prioritize is attack speed, but extra HP is always welcome too. But speed, again, should be your focus. You guys didn't spend all this time just building Orions, right? Right? Well then, get out there and play some RTA with Draco, he's really fun. I'd say this was a pretty worthy report of the Senior Researcher title. That marks the end of today's research. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Monster Lab, we research monsters for you.